After working together for years, two of Montana's biggest youth behavioral health providers have decided to merge, hoping to make a bigger impact. From crimes involving teen suspects to suicides involving kids, Montana has a problem. How do we keep finding the better way to treat kids and families to make them healthy and whole? 15 Montana teens say they attempted suicide in 2023, the most in more than 30 years. Another 22 say they made plans to take their own lives. It represents both organizations coming together. This is part of the solution. Our missions have always been aligned. On Monday, Youth Dynamics and Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch announced plans to officially combine in hopes of better tackling the challenges facing this community. Uh, we had had a shared client that, unfortunately, as we both struggled to try to figure out how to meet this child's needs, this young man committed suicide and said we have to stop that from happening. The combined nonprofits will offer a full array of children's behavioral health services for the most vulnerable in the state. Bringing those community-based services together will allow us to have a bigger footprint. On October 5th, the two nonprofits will officially begin service as the Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch. Dennis Solser, the Youth Dynamics CEO, will be retiring to support the new structure. I spent uh, more than 43 years um, directly supporting children. It's time to say goodbye and I'm excited about the future. A future that will serve around 4,000 kids annually across the state and will eliminate many roadblocks the agencies once faced. The biggest barrier really is just the immense need without enough services. Streamlined services, getting kids the help they need. You know, we truly feel that through one organization, we can do a better job of serving kids throughout the state. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.